before defining a brand it is uh, first necessary to define a product the concept of uh, a product is not uh, straightforward first products and brands are uh, mistakenly often associated only with the fast moving consumer goods but today the most rapidly growing and uh, profitable products are in services that is financial retail and management also beside uh, products and services people places and ideas can be thought of as products politicians film stars and uh, private privatization schemes are now marketed in much the same way as uh, coca cola or uh, crest toothpaste second products mean different things to people inside the business from what they do to people outside inside to the firms uh, managers and accountants a product is something produced in the factory or the office it is about materials components labor costs quality and output specifications but outside to the consumer a uh, product is something different it is a means of meeting his or her needs or solving their problems these uh, these needs and problems are as likely to be emotional and psychological as functional and economic it is a product's ability to meet these needs and aspirations with which creates its value the value of a product is not what the product puts in but what the consumer gets out a product then is anything which meets the needs of customers when uh, several companies are offering rival products they will want to identify and distinguish their particular offering and uh, this is called branding a positive or successful a positive or uh, uh, or a successful brand can be defined as a, a successful brand is a name symbol design or some combination which identifies the product of a particular organization as having a sustainable differential advantage now differential advantage means simply that customers have a reason for preferring that brand to com- competitors brands sustainable sustainable means an advantage that is not easily copied by competitors that is the business creates barriers to entry for example by developing an outside reputation or image for quality service or reliability brands are only assets if they have sustainable differential advantages if they are negative or uh, neutral brands they should not appear on the balance sheet however much is spent on advertising any profit these brands achieve is through their property or uh, distribution investments rather than through the brand's differential advantage similarly it is the differential advantage not sustainable it should not appear on the balance sheet in some markets such as games or children toys a successful brand often has a life expectancy of only 6 months and thereafter has no value second like most other assets brands depreciate without further investment if management fails to reinvest in enhancing quality service and brand image then the brand will decline 
this is often underestimated most models suggest that brands tend to decay logarithmetic value this means that uh, in the short run managers can increase profits without damaging the brand's market share by cutting back brand support however the mistake is thinking that uh, brand disinvestment can be continued without adequate support typically after around a year or two the brand enters a period of spiraling decline my website is up and running and can be logged at www.asifjmeet.com it will show you my profile you can uh, also visit my blog asifjmeet.wordpress.com that contains relevant uh, material that can be useful and uh, that can enhance your knowledge thank you and have a wonderful day